Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my stumps, World of Tanks, Xbox One replays. We're in the IS-6. And, uh, yeah, it's one of those games. We're in Highway, and uh, we're top tier, so we should have an okay game. Um, but... Um, every tank goes right for the cap circle. Now, I head for the town, um, because that's where an IS-6 should be, for the most part, because I don't have any gun depression, so sitting up on the hills to the left isn't the best place. Um, I figured other tanks should be doing that, and pretty much no one goes that way, so. At this point in the game, I am pretty much, um, that's the word I'm looking for. I, I know we're going to lose. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, this is one of those games. So, uh, we're going to push up and um, come into the town and play somewhat cautiously when I come into the town because, uh, again, I'm thinking that they're going to push through the the quarter of the town. They're going to get down along the, uh, the zero line and shoot down through the, you know, down through that way. But no one seems to do that on that team. So, needless to say, our team wasn't the brightest, and neither was theirs. So, you know, I guess it evens out. But again, we're coming through the town here. We're going to uh, get around a corner here and see what we can see. Push up a little bit. Try to get to a place where I can get the cap circle in my sight, but not, you know, be out in the wide open. So that's what I'm going for here. Um, yeah, come on, metal. We're right through that metal. Yay. I'm a ghost. Bust through this wall. Take out that pile of logs. Uh, uh, I'm in an IS-6. Russian steel. Strong tank. Come around the corner, and of course that little... <laughs> a little part of... Them big blocks of concrete and everything can't stop me, but that little inch of concrete sticking out. I guess maybe if you're at scale, that's probably four or five inches of concrete sticking out. It probably would stop the tank. I should shut up, but yeah. All right, trying to get in a position where we can lay some fire on the cap in case their team YOLOs right into the cap. And their team didn't. Their team... Uh, huh. Hey, building, who put you there? Their team decided to, um, to stay above the cap, which is okay. I mean, hey, that's better than everyone getting in the cap like my team did. And you can see them all there. Three or four onto the right of the cap. And three or four in the cap. And, yeah. So, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. As you look at the map down below, no one is guarding the bottom of the map. Well, the, the, our spawn areas. Um, so, we're kind of fucked there. Let's see if I can get a shot on this T-29, but he gets finished off. Kind of deciding, jeez, how are these people laying out? They're not horrible back there, but the problem is, is... Us down here can't put any fire into them up there until they crest the hill, but they can put fire into the tanks behind us before they... So, if everyone's going to do this, they should be somewhere along this, this, um, this grade I'm on. Somewhere on this little hill. That's where most of the team should be because none of their tanks pushed down to the zero line. So there is no reason why we should have two tanks on the zero line right now. Uh, I'm going to try a second shot into the cupola of the 112 and it bounces. So, hey, let's go for shot number three here. He hasn't moved. He's just sitting right there. I get the shot on the IS. Nope, he's... All right, let's see. Let's go for the 112 again. Here's a third shot on the cupola because he hasn't moved yet. Let's try the other cupola. Nope, bounced off. So at that point, I'm slightly fucking pissed. Telling me them cupolas have more than... more armor than my penetration of this tank. Child, please. And it's not like he was moving, it's not like he was wiggling, they just wouldn't go. So. Take a 391 out of the T32. And I'm like, alright, I got premium loaded, I should be able to go through him, no problem. He comes back over, he's gonna get another one. Here he comes. And we freaking bounce. Zero penetration! Uh huh. In one of those games. I'm in full belief that. You don't always get a potato team, as the people on the forums call it. Because I've seen way too many teams where we couldn't pen anything no matter what you hit. 
And I just have a feeling it's it's just the way the game balances it out. I, you know, it's hard to explain, but I think Team A, I've said this before, Team A gets a 60% chance to pen, Team B gets a 30% chance to pen. I, I Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I fully believe that. But, uh, yeah, back to the game here. Yeah, IS sitting there, we'll finish him off. Uh, I took a little damage to my, uh, viewfinder to do it, but I'll take that trade. Um, if this team plays smart, we should win this. I'm gonna finish him off, take him out of the game. Um, but then again, I said if my team plays smart, as we have a T29 or whatever he is, sitting sideways, so anyone that shoots him gets a shot right into the side of him. We have a tiger or something backing down, so anything that wants to shoot from down that end can pull right into the side of him. Yeah. Let's give him the side armor, man. Come up there, and I bounce. Again, off the 112, who has horrible side Well, not horrible side armor, but it's not great. But I do still have premium loaded, so, yeah. You know, premium and angled armor. Yeah. Alright, take a shot from the left, so time to turn around. I figure I'll turn around and, and guard this side now. Someone's got to because they've obviously pushed all the way around. And we got a Black Prince there. Can I get the shot on the tank down below? Nope. So we'll put one in the Black Prince instead. Uh, of course, he gets left with barely any health here. A couple of tanks hit him. And uh, bounce, 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 but then we finish him off. Now this is when the game starts pissing me off royally. Got a T-29 down there. He finishes off our, our teammate. All right. Okay. Fully aimed in. We'll get a 455. That was a good roll. That's a good roll. Happy. Happy times are here again. Come around. Not going to get the shot on him, so save the ammo. Because there's another tank down there. Um, he's behind the brick wall. Not going to get a shot on him. Uh, that shot. Amazing. So 401 on that one, and that shouldn't have gone. So, now we get into the, the point that starts pissing me off, I guess. You know, we're getting down on tanks. Um, AMX M4, I don't know why I threw that shot. I was hoping maybe it was one of the walls that could get broken, but after I fired it, I was like, oh shit, that's a whole building that ain't going to destroy. The KV-3 comes over the top. I put a good uh, put a good one right into him. Teammates put some one into him. So he's almost dead. He gets finished off. So, hey, we're okay now. Still doing okay, only down by a tank. And uh, that shot goes into La La Land. Of course, it wasn't fully aimed, but whatever. The T29 penetrates me just as easy as it can be. We get a 362 on the AMX M4 because we got to keep him alive. Got to keep him alive. Now, there's nothing left in the, in the T29 health either. They're both almost dead. Keep this in mind. They're both almost dead. That T-29 tried to hit me three times. He only penned once. But he's almost dead now. So guess what? My shot's going to go high and bounce off him. Mm-hmm. All right. So, okay. So he gets 15 lucky rolls. So we'll move to the M4. We'll get the M4 right here. Finish him off. Nope. We're going to do track damage because he's almost dead. I fully believe that this game, it really doesn't depend on the... That's why everyone's confused about this game. And we bitch about what pens and what doesn't pen. I don't think it has much to do with the tank shooting. I think it's all based on the the tank getting shot at. If they have full health, you have a better chance of penning them. Once they get down, that penetration chance chance lowers. But you know, I'm the last one alive. Um, T34 coming, and of course, he doesn't. only has two shots left. I shoot underneath him because you know that's how it's going to go. All right, we're going to sink another one into him right here. And, of course, leave him with, we get a low roll, and leave, not necessarily low roll, but we didn't get a good roll, and leave him with a little bit of health, because that's how it's going to be. Finish him off, and at that point, I, I get ass raped from the T-29 that should have been dead five minutes ago. You know, the M4-45 and the T-29 should have both been dead. If them tanks had both been dead when I shot at him, I would have won that game. I have no doubts in my mind. None. No doubts whatsoever. I would have won the game. But of course, you know, whatever. We end up with a Masters. 4693, for, so 4700 damage. Five tanks destroyed. 2750 for uh, blocked. 
96,000 silver, using a lot of premium. 46,49 for XP. We end up with a high caliber, uh, ace, ba ace master tank of edge. 1862 XP, base XTP. My base XP on the loss was better than the highest XP on the winning team. <laughs> I love it when that happens. 46.93. Um, you know, I. if you look at the rest of my team, only four of us, five of us did okay. Actually, only four of us did okay. The fifth one did eh, eh. No, I guess, no, I forgot the T29 down the day. It's 1,700. So, so five of us did okay. Um, AMX M4, four shots, 400 damage, took him out of the game. KV2, 147 assist. KV3, one shot for 349. Cool Man in his IS, one shot for 290, took him out of the game. Black Prince, two for 612, took him out of the game. The 112, one for 438, after I shot 15 shots at him, probably. T32, three shots for 883, took him out of the game. T34, three shots for 445. Took him out of the game. See, a high roll would have killed him, but it took me three shots to kill him. Pathetic. One shot for 420 in that T29. And two shots for 856 into that T29. But yeah, if I got a high roll on the T34, he would have been dead. But instead, I get a track, a miss. I get a miss, a low roll, and then the finish off roll, which is just, it's... Anyways, I should just shut up, because I know it's all based on this, that, and the other, and it's just, like I said, if you go back and watch the video, and I've watched it a couple times, if the M4 had died when it should have died, the next shot would have gone into the T29, and if that had hit, he would have been dead. Uh, this is all banked on if they hit. You know, like I said, if even with the rolls, even if I got a low roll, both of them, two tanks would have been dead. But instead, it took me five shots to kill him. Instead of two, it took five. So that means three of my shots weren't turned around helping out my teammate behind me. Because that's the way the cookie crumbles. But whatever. But if I had got them killed, turned around, I think I could have at least kept my teammate alive for at least another 30, 40 seconds anyways. And the only tanks you would have had to worry about would have been the T-34 and the T-29 or the T-32 above me. He was on decent health. But he couldn't have come down over that hill at me. I would have put one into his track and kept him right up there. So I would have taken... My teammate would have put a shot into the T-34. Maybe the T-34 takes him out at that point. But then his health would have been low enough that one shot should have killed him. When the T-32 come over, or T-29, he would have got hit right in the right in the track, lower plate area, right in the corner. And then I would have started putting shots right into his belly. We would have won that game. If the... Damn shots would have sunk into the T29 out of the other end and the and the M4. So yeah, it's it's one of those games where RNG pisses just. <sighs> Wouldas, shouldas, and couldas. Can you imagine what I would have had for for uh, bonuses and everything else if if I had actually won the game? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It would have been. I mean, it would have been a sixth. 6,000 XP game anyways. I mean, I, it was a really good game on a loss. And if... They just... Oh, just I, I don't know how to express how much RNG pisses me off at times. But it is what it is, I guess. So, As usual, comment, rate, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what I did right and tell me what I did wrong. And remember, when you're on that battlefield, shoot the red ones.